Piece. It should still be in the earth. Now that's silly. Don't you realize that that piece is 900,000 years old? Mm hmm? Think of all the terrestrial changes that occurred. Mm hmm? By now that section could be anywhere under the earth and gone forever. Come.
It could just as well have been a million years. Then huge monsters crawled the earth and destroyed things constantly. Do you know that men didn't even look like us? Mm -hmm. And with no schooling? How could they possibly think of such a capsule? Easy there, Arashi. That thing buried in the earth all those centuries ago is only the beginning. There's more than that. Now, what if those articles were preserved when they planted it? A glacial world existed before early man, and before that a mysterious civilization where creatures lived. And modern, according to the theories of many highly accomplished philanthropists who finance digging under the ocean. Does that assist you? Hmm? I don't wish to intrude. <laughs> you see, the problem is discovering the consistency of the ingredients and how to pin down their era. Captain, if that was a modern civilization, uh, then isn't it possible that that liquid is an explosive with an even higher potential than the H-bomb? Mm. Arashi, why are you worrying so much? A time capsule is an inheritance of one civilization to another civilization and nothing else. And what makes you so sure it's a time capsule? Dr. Fukuyama thinks it is. Headquarters, Science Patrol. Oh, what is it? That square of metal they found is a particular kind of scroll. I'm sure it's a time capsule, sir. Ito, Hayata? Yes, yes, sir. Investigate it closely and report. As Fukuyama's aid, I will get right on the job. It'll be my pleasure. And the person has to have a high intellect for this job. Oh, sure. <laughs> Ito, that's not the way one's expected to act in the patrol. Yes, sir. recorded here, only we can't decipher it. We've tried every oh. way. Mm -hmm. Would you care to inspect it? I'd appreciate your opinion. Hmm. Hmm. Have you tried holding it up to the light? <coughs> oh, what's that? Sorry. Something's there. Huh? Wait. Look. Hmm? Oh. So that's it. I should have tried reflecting it. Gamora, come quickly. The secret has been discovered. Thank you. You're a fine assistant. <laughs> ah, look at that. We must try to decode it immediately. Yes, sir. Writing is similar to the Mu Empire's language. Uh, oh, we will decode it. Doctor, it's ready. Thank you. Good. Uh, you may go. Mm. Doctor, mm -hmm. that slide of the cipher you're holding, do you think it will explain the mystery of the capsule? Yes, it's possible. At least we'll try. Uh, doctor, can I be of any further assistance? No, thank you. Please give us a little time. We'll wait here, Doctor. <laughs> the light. It's locked. Reverse it. <laughs> From the looks of things, it's going to take long, Hayata. Mm -hmm. It's become harder. The basic problem is problem solved mm -hmm. so far. They're still working on it. I wish they'd hurry. reported north of the city. Lightning is doing damage in various parts. Now, figure out the storm's direction according to the charts. According to the latest forecast, I calculate tremendous lightning hitting here. Stay awake at least. 
Yes, headquarters of the science patrol. Huh? Go ahead. Address? Uh, say that again. Mm. Got that. Uh-huh. Right. Arashi, what's going on? Captain, someone saw a monster. All right. Report back quickly. A red creature? But where? Near the express highway crossing Route 81. We'll go. Immediately, sir. Arashi has already gone there. You remain assisting Dr. Fukuyama since you have a high intellect. Ah, a high intellect. Is that the captain's sense of humor? Good. Lightning once more. Lightning ready. So. Okay. remain and discuss the final results with the doctor. Send Ito then. I will leave this area at once, sir. This time I'll beat you there. Good. Now double the overall power. I have doubled the volts. Hmm. to know it. Hmm. We eventually caught the monsters. Bright red Aliba and the blue Avaros. Then we turned each two liquid and lowered them in the ground in the strongest of all capsules. We hope that the monsters will never be freed as it would mean the destruction of mankind. The monsters are free. Hayata, the telephones just went dead. What? from the eternal prison built by our ancestors. Exactly. The blue monster Avaros just started advancing. <gasps> Captain, we just ran out of rockets. Captain, the air call. Good. Ito, head back for supplies. Yes, sir. Arashi, head back for home. Roger.
think, Doctor? Was anything recorded of their weaknesses? It looks as though our worries have just begun. It's bad enough with one. Now there are two at our throats. It's incredible. I should have taken greater care. Only I could have read the cipher sooner. The monsters would never have been let loose to plague us like this. Doctor, none of this is your fault. The only thing we can do is to learn how to deal with them under these circumstances. I was thinking if they fought each other, their own instinct could annihilate them. Fight one another? It could happen. They're now heading toward each other this minute. They are? Though, as you know, when they finally meet, they could possibly join forces. What about us getting close to them and forcing them to get angry with each other? Captain, we should try it. Headquarters Science Patrol. Huh? All right. The caller said the monsters just met outside the stadium. Okay. Ready? I would like very much to accompany you. No, Doctor. The gamble's too great and space science needs you. Would you reconsider? I could still think of something if I saw the actions together. All right. Thank you. Captain? Fuji, you stay here. Right. It's best to aim for the eyes.
working. Arashi, retreat, run, this way. Hayata, something's wrong. The energy's gone. Ito, go join the captain. I can't leave you here. Just do as I say. Using the beta capsule, Hayata becomes Ultraman. again. Go get him now! <laughs> <laughs> 